How do you do, my friends? Good evening, good day, good morning. All these are wonderful phrases to awaken the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and others, I am Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business. And our business today has not only enchantment, but aesthetic, abundant. So physics, you see, can be a pretty thing to work with. Here is a metal plate. It happens to be brass. It is so big in projected area. It is so thick. The material has certain mechanical properties. It is fixed to a bolt firmly in the middle, tightly there. And I'm going to hold it by that shaft and bow it. And clearly the plate is vibrating because a sound can be produced only by a vibrating system. But how is the plate vibrating? How? How is it shaking? It is going too fast to see, but I'm going to show you how it is if you come with me to my workplace yonder. First, I'm going to put some rosin on the bow. Some people call it resin for the purpose of making the bow a little sticky. And then, as you know, when a violinist bows the string, the bow grabs the string and lets go, grabs it and lets go, grabs it and lets go, called relaxation oscillations. Oh, very high-powered stuff. Now, I bow the plate again. Notice, I'm a little fiddler, so I have a little bow. And how is the plate vibrating? I do not know. So I'm going to sprinkle it with some sand. I'm going to sprinkle it with some sand. And now I'm going to bow it and watch what is revealed. And if you looked very sharply, you would see that the sand is dancing everywhere, but where it came to rest. And there, of course, it, the plate is quiet. Is not that beautiful to see? Now, let me take another plate. Here is another one. I'm going to use sugar this time. Sugar. Why do I use sugar? It makes the music sweeter. See that? So I sprinkle it with sugar. And I'm going to bow this one. Let's see what happens here. Is not that enchanting to witness? Now I'm going to take another metal plate. Again, rectangular or square. I'm going to see what this one does. Now what the plate does is governed by a thousand things. Amongst them, of course, how I bow it. Do you see these are alike? So I'm going to bow this plate differently. I'm going to bow it at a node, which is a position of rest, and see if I can make this plate do something else. And I did. See? Beautiful. Beautiful. And I'm not yet through, because I could blow, bow those plates in different positions repeatedly, just as you can make a kaleidoscope show an infinite number of patterns, but not quite an infinite number here because the plates have certain restrictions.